Hello YouTubers! So this is our first design of this week. This is actually a special request. This is in collaboration with another YouTube channel. Alumi Tube. A-L-U-M-I-T-U-B-E. I highly recommend you check out his channel. He does a lot of awesome metal casting stuff. Um, he found and subbed to us last week and sent us a message. He likes our designs and wants to cast some of them. Next Friday he will be casting our version of Kratos Axe. And right now we're doing this design that he requested we do. And this is based on... Let me see here. Bear with me. Oh, by the way, I am recording now with the new one of the new cameras. So hopefully it is recording good. How's the sound? How's the picture? Okay, let me see here. Hold on. Well, I know it's from a mobile game. Yeah, I have the new camera set up. It's on a tripod right now. It's a little Eakin uh, H9, I think, action camera. I'm try to start using that to record. I'll set it down on the tripod and just let it record while I talk. Um... Aha, uh -huh, hold on, I know how to find it. I'm gonna let this sit here and record for a minute. I gotta, uh, but I gotta run to the other room. I got the name down somewhere. Okay, so it is Marta's Sword from Mobile Legend. So I don't know what it is myself. I mean, I had to research it and look it up, but it is one wicked sword. I mean, this thing is just going to be awesome. Hopefully, it comes out nice. Everything's looking good so far. Uh, right now the Prusa is down. I've got to clean it out. Some filament issues and I need to print another fan shroud. I grind it and sand it on it. Um, but I, I really need to replace it. And I did a self test and it said that I have a loose pulley motor. So i got to get into that as well. 
So just some routine stuff. I got to do it tomorrow. Somehow I got to get time to do it. So for right now, this is all we got going. And uh, I will not be putting the STL files up for this one until after uh, Yannick uh, cast this sword. So actually, this may not even make our three a week designs. This will probably be a special project. I'll keep out of that. Maybe. I don't know. I start the intro like it was. So it's going to be a coin toss. I'm sure you'll figure it out as you're watching. I'll, I'll obviously I will uh, put the proper header on the video when I post it. So what do you think? How's the video? How's the audio? Let me know. All right. So it's morning time, and this sword is looking pretty bad at ours. Ours. I caught myself. Ha. Obviously got a little problem there. A little problem there, but some sanding and some a little bit of plastic wood patch maybe. Uh, I'll figure something out. This is a really cool design though. This is a special sword that Alumatube wanted us to do. He's looking forward to casting this one. You should definitely check out his channel. He does some amazing work. We are just... We are honored that a channel like his found our little channel. I mean, he's from Denmark. He's got over 144,000 subscribers. Of which he just had 137,000 subscribers four days ago. Um, he does this amazing metal casting work. And he subs to us. He finds our little channel. I just think that's so cool. You gotta love the internet. I mean, just to reach around the world and find people like that is awesome. So. Alright, well, how are you enjoying the new video and the new audio? Um, I'm talking pretty loud because I don't think the audio picks up as well on this. And the video, I should probably look at the instructions. Um, <laughs> as I'm sure it's different modes, so I'm just kind of winging it, um, as I'm not sure where I set the instructions at, <laughs> <coughs> excuse me, so, alright, well this is looking pretty cool, I just want to throw this quick video out there, or actually this is part of a longer video, so just excuse me, I don't know, I'm still half asleep. But at least I remembered to have an SD card in here while I'm recording. Alright, it's all done. Look at that. Man, that looks really good. It's so good. And I'm starting it now on the Prusa. Oh, sorry, I know. This thing, i got to figure out Flash or something. I'm sure they sell them for it. Whoa, without the Flash in everybody's eyes. Sorry, bear with me. Alright, so it's just now getting ready to start up on the Prusa. I got the Prusa all unclogged this morning. Oh, let me get that booger. Got it all unclogged this morning. Uh, it took about another half hour of messing with. I'm still going to have to figure out the loose pulley motors. And I went checked everything by hand everything seems good so I'm not exactly sure what I should be checking but I went around and you know checked everything that I knew to check and everything seems to be good and tight so I don't know just one of those things I gotta figure out so all right hope you're enjoying this new quality of video and sound I gotta get to work Hopefully at lunch this is a good print sitting here and not a big rat's nest. We shall see, said the blind man to his deaf wife that was petting the three-legged dog that was barking at the tailless cat that had the dead rat in its mouth with the flea circus on its back. Or something like that anyhow. Alright, 
at home for lunch. And the proofs is all done. I had to print this one a different orientation because I couldn't get supports where I wanted them to do the same as the tornado. But this looks really good. I put the little camera on the tripod in the box here so there's no movement. Oh, is that a layer shift? Yeah, look at that. Looks like a layer shift right there. Hmm. Well, that's why they make blue and sandpaper. Alright, I'm take it out, clean it up with the other one. Okay, so I got this. Actually, I got both of them. Sanded up, filler primered up. Getting ready to sand them down, paint them. And this one here had that crazy layer shift on it. So, I mean, it jumped. Broke it apart, put it back together best I could. A little super glue, baking soda, kind of typical. Sand it down, paint it up. Should be alright then. And this one here, and I tell you, it's another case for getting simplified 3D. Uh, some point. Oh, this is cool since the camera's right here. We got so much stuff here. I know it's a mess, but that's all right. I know everything's there somewhere. <laughs> this is our working on a big He-Man sword. So I'm not even sure if that's still in the picture. There you go. So it's going to be a really big He-Man sword. Well, actual size, I think. I mean, I got two hands on it. So. I'm waiting. I gotta get another roll of this uh, purple haze filament. It'll be here tomorrow. I ran out, and then we'll print the middle part, assemble it together. This will be going to Earth with us. Uh, I'm working on printing out a handful of our little mugs. You know, I posted the thing on Twitter, and I'll be handing a couple of these out with a little a mini bottle in there. And you know, typical more little disintegrating pistols to give away, more cards, uh, a couple, I don't know if I'd give these away or not, but they're cool, I just like our little master sword design, and again, they're that purple filament, that purple haze filament, I really like that, so, alright, that's enough sharing the crap that's on my table, hope everyone's having a good day so far, and raining pretty good. So, here we are with the sword. Uh, I think it's the Mardis sword from the Legends mobile game. Mobile Legends game, one of the two. I'll make sure to have it right in the uh, title description. There's the little gold version. And I'm still working on the bigger version. I'm going to put some pink in there. Here this is here. Um, got the purple already darker there and I've clear coated it I want to let it dry for a few hours before we go in there and then put a little bit of pink inside the purple and really get it to pop so there it is and this is one that Alumatube will be casting this is a collaboration we're doing with him he requested this and I'm really looking forward to seeing him cast this he does, whoop, does amazing work. I uh, highly recommend everyone check him out. That's a Luma Tube. A L U M I T U B E. He just posted on Friday um, the casting of our Kratos axe design, and it turned out phenomenal. So check it out. And if you liked our video, remember to smash the thumbs up button. And don't forget to ring the bell as we have a lot of content coming out this year. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. God bless.